Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're back with a video and we're gonna be looking at the Woozik Go. Uh, these are the Woozik brand. It's called Go. And let's check out the features for this one. It's got a textured uh, fabric cloth uh, material on the front. These are basically like the JBL Goes. And, you know, it's a pretty popular um, kind of speaker, pretty popular style. People attach them to their bag. I see them all the time. You know, construction workers, people that work outside, riding bikes, what have you. Uh, this has Bluetooth version 4.2. This is a 4 ohm speaker. Frequency range 120 hertz to 18 kilohertz. And it's 4 watts. The driver size is 1.75 inches and it's got the uh, signal to noise ratio of 60 dB. It's got a 10 meter range and the play time for music should be 4 to 5 hours depending on the volume. Uh, the charge time is 2 hours. Not bad. Alright, let's get this thing open. We got the original knife that they pulled on Bruce Lee in Chinese Connection. Still had blood on it when I found it. And let's get this thing open. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these kind of speakers. They usually have good bass because the driver's uh, bigger than the usual. And for some reason, they just have a well-rounded sound, even though they only have one speaker. And it can't really do that much trouble from the looks of it, but it might surprise us. This one reminds me of the bomb from Super Mario. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Uh, this is aluminum. Actually, I would be a little scared to put this on my bag. It's not the worst. Uh, latch that I ever encountered but you know how it is especially in the city all right you got your controls here music back music forward play pause and this appears to be the power button it's got a nice uh, rubber texture feel to it and you know it seems like it would just bounce when it falls as long as it doesn't fall in the front Pretty sturdy design. Okay, and here you have micro SD card slot, and you got the micro micro SD uh, micro USB charging port. Now, when I got this, the guy told me it was water resistant. So we're gonna do a flow test later. Let's turn the power on. Nice. All right. So now that you've seen that, how it looks, let's see what else is in the box. Some music material, instructions. Like my nigga Flaw says, pluck them <laughs> and follow them to the side. <laughs> All right, we got the cheap uh, USB wire. Pretty cool. We're gonna pause it and then we're gonna set up, do a sound test.
The Wuzik brand is a company that sits in the middle. It's better than the cheap Chinese OEMs, but it's not quite up there with uh, Sony or Bose, okay? Uh, Wuzik Go, the speaker, it actually is good at what it was designed to do, and that's to be an awesome outside speaker. Convenience gets a nine. I'm gonna tell you why. Wuzik Go is excellent for what it was built to do, you know? It's pocket friendly, uh, it's got big sound. And the only thing I would like to see is they make a, a larger uh, sturdier clip the next time. Uh, the Bluetooth connection is outstanding. I never got any drop sounds or uh, unclear, you know, no lost signal or anything. I'm impressed. Uh, the battery, I give that a 7. This thing, uh, pretty much, you can't put any huge, huge battery in these type of uh, devices. So, you're getting about four and a half hours. You know, I play it at the loudest uh, music setting, and that's pretty good. I was happy with that. Okay, the last category, wow factor. I gave it an 8. Black is cool. You can't go wrong with it. Blends in nicely. And it looks rugged. That's 39.5 out of 50. The speaker is a go. If you're still wondering if you should buy it. And hey guys. I, the reason why I have harsh rating systems. Is so you can get the best without the BS. Alright guys. This wraps up the review. I'll update the link for those looking to purchase one in the description below. One Stop Tech signing off. Don't forget to like and definitely subscribe because I got a few more speakers already in the works. And make sure you comment. Till next time. Peace.